Gibson, let me ask you first. What what are some of the key questions that you're being asked right now by buyers that you're running across. Now, this could be somebody that is actively ready to buy. This could be somebody that is a friend or a family member and they're just kind of curious as to what's going on. But what are some of the what's some of the questions you've been asked? What's like the top of mind question you get asked right now? Is it a good time to buy a home? Okay. When somebody asks you that, what's your response? Depends. Let's hear a little bit more about your situation what exactly you're looking for in a home and then kind of nailing that down. There's a general consensus on the public and most people's uh, absorption of material for real estate is a heavy liar on what interest rates are currently. So normally that's where the conversation leads. So let's just assume, let, let's have a couple of different scenarios here. Let's just say first time home buyer reaches out to you and they're saying, hey, we want to we wanna stick to somewhere in the 300 to 350 range we're going to be financing how how do you feel as though the market looks for us we want to be somewhere in the north dallas area because obviously between north dallas and fort worth is very very different so let's just north dallas area you know what does that look like right now what's what does inventory look like what does um what does the amount of competition look like what are we seeing out there? at a glance i'd say Competition is probably on the lower side right now, um, just based off that narrative of interest rates, the advantage is to the buyer. You're going to be able to get out there, uh, be in a competitive market, um, just from the sense of there's probably limited people looking for properties right now. Um, and then on the end of inventory is limited for the most part, but at the same time, uh, because of that, the, the inventory that's available, we're seeing sit on the market for a few more days than expected. Obviously, that's a little bit more standard average number compared to where we were the last two years in real estate, sp specifically in North Dallas. So buyer's advantage. 